Hey guys, what's up? So it's Christmas Eve, uh, 2018, and I actually wanted to. I have a big list of things I got to fix. So um, one of the issues I'm having here on my laptop is that my Ethernet connection is extremely intermittent. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But for me, this is particularly bad because I'm an IT guy, and I, I use this laptop to troubleshoot. It's a Dell uh, Inspiron, what is it, uh, it's sort of like a Latitude 3340, it's sort of like a, a rugged, extra rugged, rugged laptop with touch screen, you know. <clears throat> pretty cool laptop, you have 16 gig RAM here, Core i5, solid state drive, so it's, it's pretty fast. But for me, it's, this network connection is very intermittent, so it, it depends on the cable I'm using, a lot of different things. So I look right here in the corner, obviously I'm not getting a network connection. So that's a serious problem. If I go on site and I'm trying to troubleshoot a network problem and my own laptop doesn't work, that's that's not good. But So this has been kind of going on um, for probably a few months now, and it's starting to kind of get annoying now. So I'm on site trying to jiggle a cord. I don't want to have to do that anymore. So I suspect this has happened before in the past on different laptops. So I might have kicked the... I think my laptop might have fallen off my ladder a couple times and, you know, maybe yeah, yanked the cord or something, but... Usually what I do is I, uh, the first thing I would normally do, I mean, I've already tried this before, so it's not the issue, is you want to look at the pins. First you want to make sure the pins are straight and correct. This probably won't even focus on that, but the, the little pins in there, I don't, I don't even know if I have a flashlight here. I'm going to use my little Makita light. So if you can kind of see that in there, maybe there's some pins in there. Sometimes those get dirty. Um, so what I do is use my little cotton swab here and as you can see on camera just clean those contacts but to me I, I know that's not the issue so I'm going to plug it back in and okay, I want to verify I want to show you guys that this, this is a little uh, Raspberry Pi Octoprint that I'm working on and just wanted to show you that I actually this cable is good this network connection is good and it's feeding into a Cisco 3560 uh, PLE switch. But, um, so I just wanted to show you and verify that uh, I am getting network connectivity on this wire. It's a Cat6 wire, it's a pretty decent wire. It's shielded. Oh, no, that's no, not shielded. This one. So, like I said, I'm just not getting a connection over here. So, um, like I said, some, some cables I can move it around and it works, but this one is definitely dead. It won't even come on no matter what I do. Yeah, I'm moving the, the cable around trying to get contact in here, so. What I'm suspecting is maybe that there's some broken solder joints on the back of this motherboard. So I'm going to take the computer apart and see if I can figure it out. Alright, so let me come back and I'll uh, get this thing flipped over, turned off, and we'll unscrew it. Alright, the cool thing about this laptop is the whole back piece comes off as one unit. So it's got to take these screws off here. But, you know, some laptops it's way more difficult to take them apart. Sometimes you have to separate the front got to remove the keyboard first. Um, so this actually is definitely pretty cool when it comes to this stuff because it's, it makes it a lot easier. But I don't even know if I'm able to get access to the, the back of the board where I need the, the solder joints are on for the uh, Ethernet cable. So I'm going to get this off and I'll be back. Alright, so I have the back cover off and this is the actual uh, Ethernet cable right there or the connection right there. So I don't know... When you actually have new network cabling, it really you're, there's only a couple of pins that you actually need. You only need two pair. You need pin um, one, two, and three, and one, two, three, and pin six for uh, Ethernet to, to have it go online. All right. So the, the other wires are used for PoE. If you ever look at a standard patch cable, you know, like the coloring. So if you ever look at the coloring those patch cables, the the orange and the green pair are the only ones that are being used. At least for a uh, standard Ethernet. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna get my magnifying uh, glass on here and take a closer look. But I'm hoping I can just solder these joints. Or I'm gonna take a closer look at this joint right here and see what see what's going on there. All right. All right. So let's take a look at this. Look how loose that is. So it's actually. It, it's, I think it's actually kind of a bad design. There should be a screw there to keep that tight. Because the whole board is actually moving around, not just the jack. So if just the jack is moving around, I think there's some kind of something going on with the solder. 
but look at the whole board is moving around so I right, gotta figure that out. I'm gonna flow some solder on there and see what's alright. I got this laptop secondhand. I bought it on eBay a few months ago. I did a review on it, but there's a couple of pins there that hold the jack in. I think that might have been the source of the original problem. Is it makes it really, really hard to release the, the network plug. So I gotta bend those plugs little jacks. I don't know if you can even see that, but right there. I gotta bend those a little bit down to make this thing easier to release because I think that was part of the cause. They couldn't pull their network jack out and it kind of jacked this connector up. So, all right. All right, guys, so did some solder joints there. It's not the greatest solder job. I don't have a very small tip right now, so I definitely would have preferred to have a smaller tip. So let's fire this up, turn it back on, see what's up. I'll just leave the case cover off for now and uh, get it going. All right, guys, so I'm going to put this back in here. Yeah, it definitely clicks in a lot better now that I fix those pins. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't want to stay stuck in there. Like it was actually so bad, even when you pulled that little, pulled little clip right there, you still couldn't even get it out. So you're jerking it out trying to get the cord out. So look at that. All right. Unclick. Off. Click. It's a Cisco switch, so it takes a couple seconds for it to come back online. See? Cool, back in business. So I'm suspecting a <coughs> cold solder joint or something got dislodged in there. So just free flowing the solder joints seem to fix it. So cool. Merry Christmas, guys.